Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. I hope you guys are doing uh, fantastic. Coming to you guys covering a solution that you may or may not have heard about as of yet, and that is VMware Tanzu Community Edition. Now, VMware Tanzu Community Edition is an excellent open source and freely available Tanzu Kubernetes solution that allows you to freely play around with and to use VMware Tanzu Kubernetes in a number of environments. So stick around and we're going to take a look at VMware Tanzu Community Edition and the newly released unmanaged cluster solution that is found in the latest version. So what is VMware Tanzu Community Edition? Well, maybe you've heard of VMware Tanzu Enterprise solution that's available in vSphere 7 and higher. Uh, but VMware Tanzu Community Edition is a freely available version of VMware Tanzu that anyone can download. Uh, in fact, it's been released as open source. And the nice thing about VMware Tanzu Community Edition is that it has the exact same inner workings as the commercially available Tanzu offerings, such as Tanzu Basic, Standard, and Advanced Editions. So already it has a very richly supported community around the solution itself. So from the VMware Tanzu website, to download the solution. This is a freely available solution, so no login required, no registration, which is one of the really uh, nice things about the solution. Uh, you can just click the download button and it's going to bring you to the recently released, as of late February, uh, middle to late February, uh, the dot .10 release. So this has the new unmanaged cluster feature as opposed to previous releases. And with this release, the standalone cluster uh, functionality is now being deprecated in favor of this unmanaged cluster functionality. So to get up and running, all you need to do is pick your platform. So you pick the uh, installer CLI for your particular platform. Here I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna download the zip file. So I've had, I have, so I have extracted the uh, zip file to a folder and I've got this on my D drive uh, and it also has a subfolder underneath once you extract, it, extract the... So I have now extracted the zip file for VMware Tanzu Community Edition and now so we have a couple of folders that are extracted for us. A parent folder and then a child folder. So we've now extracted the uh, Tanzu Community Edition zip file uh, to a folder and it has a couple of folders that it extracts to. So the subfolder is TCE Windows, of course I'm working with a Windows environment, uh, TCE Windows and we see that it's the .10 release. So I'm going to just double click in and as you will note uh, there are just three simple uh, there's two files and a subfolder. So we are interested in the install.bat file. If you're on Linux, it's going to be install.sh. So install.bat, uh, what you're going to do is simply double click the uh, batch file. And as you will note, it will extract the files needed. Uh, you should see what we're seeing on screen uh, here and that the installation is complete without errors. We don't see anything go on there. And as a note, what you will want to do is to add this directory to your system's path variable. And that way the Tanzu CLI utility that is used throughout uh, the Tanzu solution, Tanzu Community Edition, uh, will be available no matter what focus uh, your directory is set to. So uh, be sure to put that in your path statement. I'm gonna just uh, hit the key to, um, so now that we have the utility installed, we've added it to our path variable in Windows. And now we can test to make sure that we have access to the Tanzu CLI utility, which to do that, all you need to do is I'm in a Windows terminal here. Uh, you can use PowerShell, you can use Command Prompt, whatever 
uh, environment, CLI environment that you want to interact with it in, uh, we can just uh, type Tanzu and we will see that, yes, we, we get a return from that CLI. And this tells us our past statement's working. Uh, it also is interesting to look at the parameters uh, that you can work with with this particular uh, utility. Uh, so as you can see, we got a cluster, we got standalone cluster. Even though it's deprecated in this release, you still have availability to uh, work with standalone clusters, provision those, and the new uh, unmanaged cluster, which we're going to demonstrate in this video. The unmanaged cluster uh, simplifies the deployment of your Kubernetes cluster that Tanzu Community Edition deploys. So with the unmanaged cluster, you don't spin up a managed or a management cluster to manage your workload cluster. Uh, this is kind of an everything in one uh, type cluster and it provisions extremely quickly. And that's one of the uh, benefits of the unmanaged cluster is if you are building numerous clusters, spinning those up, spinning those down, testing things, tearing them down, uh, provisioning them once again, the unmanaged cluster is an excellent um, way to do that with uh, Tanzu Community Edition. And it provides many benefits, uh, mainly with efficiency and time, uh, to be quite honest. So. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at this unmanaged cluster. So I can just simply type Tanzu, scoot this window up just a bit, Tanzu unmanaged cluster, and we can do a help here and actually see what we have available with the unmanaged cluster. Uh, and as you can see, um, the Tanzu unmanaged cluster, we've got available commands, we've got uh, a few here. Uh, completion, we've got configure, create, delete, list. So if I simply go in and I just say uh, list, then as you can see, I don't get anything in return. Basically just the uh, name and provider if I were to have clusters listed. Uh, so this tells us that I don't have any unmanaged clusters provision as of yet. So I want you to note just how simple it is to create an unmanaged VMware Tanzu Community Edition uh, cluster, Kubernetes cluster. So to do that, we just simply say unmanaged cluster, create, and then uh, we simply just give the cluster a name. I'm just gonna call it test cluster. So once we uh, do that, then the process begins to um, create the unmanaged cluster. And this honestly only takes a couple of minutes to provision the unmanaged cluster. Of course, depending on your workstation specs and those type of things, but really resource wise, this is not very uh, intensive. So I'm gonna pause the video and let you guys know just how long it takes to complete the unmanaged cluster creation process. So the unmanaged cluster creation process I was accurate in saying it was around two minutes and that's about what it took on my workstation. So as you can see here, we uh, the test cluster 01 unmanaged cluster was created uh, successfully and we get a few recommendations of commands that we may want to run on the cluster. One of the nice things with the uh, Tanzu Community Edition uh, installation and configuration on your workstation is that it automatically sets your context for you. Uh, so I can show you that uh, before we begin looking at the cluster, we can take a look at the context. And as you can see, configured for the test cluster 01 unmanaged cluster that we just provisioned. And, and as you can see, I have a couple of other um, Kubernetes clusters that I have registered with kubeconfig uh, or kubectl. And so I have a standalone Kubernetes cluster. I've got a rancher desktop cluster, but as you can see, it automatically configured the context for kubectl uh, to this test cluster 01 cl unmanaged cluster that we just provisioned. So, so one of the things that uh, we can take a look at is kubectl uh, uh, get nodes, and we'll take a look at this. And as we can see, and as expected, we have a single node cluster that's in the ready state uh, running uh, Tanzu Community Edition. So pretty nice. We've 
got a working Kubernetes cluster in like in a couple of minutes uh, by only installing uh, Tanzu CLI and then running the uh, create option for the unmanaged cluster. We can run the kubectl get namespaces just to take a look at the namespaces and as we can see we've got uh, several of those uh, that are installed by default uh, in this TCE uh, Kubernetes cluster. Now going back to the Tanzu CLI, what we can do is we can take a look at packages that we can install as well. Um, and we can run the command Tanzu package available uh, list. So we can retrieve the available packages. So uh, VMware Tanzu uses the CAP controller to uh, perform application management. Uh, so as you can see, we can uh, go in, we can run Tanzu package available list, and we can actually see available uh, packages that we can readily install into our uh, Tanzu cluster. So one of the nice things with VMware Tanzu is that you can, in addition to running it locally, as I've demonstrated here with the unmanaged cluster using Docker Desktop, you can actually run Tanzu Community Edition inside of a production enterprise environment such as VMware vSphere. And I want to show you how easy that is to take those steps to do that. So back at the uh, command prompt here, we're going to do Tanzu Management Cluster create and we're going to say UI meaning we want to make use of the UI to actually perform our configuration and enter our configuration option. So after um, entering that command you'll see several prerequisites downloaded and then you should see a local web page that's spun up uh, that launches for you in a browser and it allows you to now start configuring uh, VMware Tanzu Community Edition and use uh, enterprise environments such as VMware vSphere, Amazon Web Services, or Microsoft Azure. So just clicking into this just a bit, drilling into this, we can say deploy and we can uh, already had uh, an installation running there, um, but we can just say start new. We can enter the vCenter server details uh, username, password, and then we're going to step through the process in this GUI to actually install Tanzu Community Edition inside of VMware vSphere. And since we're spinning up a management cluster, it allows you to spin up that production ready management cluster. And then after spinning up the management cluster, you can go right into uh, provisioning your workload cluster and then start uh, provisioning workloads. And I have a pretty detailed blog post on how to go about this process that I will link in the description of the video. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, overview of VMware Tanzu Community Edition. It's a great way to experiment with, develop on, uh, play around with uh, Kubernetes in a very controlled way. Uh, even locally on a workstation using a single node VMware Tanzu Kubernetes cluster. And the beauty of the solution is you're actually using the same technology that an organization would use in the enterprise using VMware Tanzu Enterprise Solutions. So a great way just to develop on the same Kubernetes environment locally as is used for production workloads. And as demonstrated, not only can you use Tanzu Community Edition to work in a local fashion on a workstation, you can also use the same Tanzu Community Edition deployment to actually deploy a production Kubernetes Tanzu uh, cluster in a enterprise solution such as VMware vSphere, Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure. So, really great solution and hopefully this overview video has helped to explain some of the basic concepts as well as give an overview of the new unmanaged cluster solution. Well I'm Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Please click like on the video and do subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys soon.